Ah, that's dangerous. We live, baby. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Part of things, the drone's still up there. They transferred over. Mm -hmm. But they did. It's tough. Subscribe. What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. I'm Kay. I'm Dom. I'm Cole. I'm Jamie. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know exactly why y'all here. Wait. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What's up? We back. We back, <laughs> baby. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been at the office. Y'all been banging on the table for us to be back. We We're here. back. Do me a favor, y'all in the comments, jump in there. Y'all already welcomed uh, Dom to the channel. Welcome Cole and welcome Jamie to the channel. Uh, some new blood, new faces. Today we have a choreo battle. BTS. On versus Run BTS. Uh, how much do y'all know about K-pop? Jamie and Cole in particular. Uh, I'm going to be honest, not too much, but I'm excited to find out. It's not my primary genre. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> what is your primary genre of music? Um, this is a safe place. <laughs> depends what I'm doing. Uh, a lot of times it's like hip-hop or rap. I'm in the gym. Um, it could be when I'm working, anything. Soft rock, classics. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cole? Uh, I would say I'm mostly an EDM guy. Anything that I can fist bump to, you know? <laughs> 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 it's kind of my jam. I like rap, too, though. And Dom got, he already got uh, the J-Hope stuff. Was you, did you like J-Hope? Did he stand out or something, too? Or was that on sale? What? I said, or was that on sale? <laughs> 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 um, uh, uh, to be honest, I... Uh, I, like, I saw some BTS stuff, and I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get something. I got, you know? Okay. Yeah. That was nice of you. Respect. Mark on, and yeah. BTS does that. Well, if this is your first time on the channel, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. Jump on the Patreon. It's going to be exclusive content up on there today. We're going crazy this month. We're going to be having a whole bunch of new content and everything happening. Uh, but before we jump into this, uh, this is a choreo battle. We're the only people on YouTube to do this. So if anybody else is doing this, this means they stole our swag. We essentially uh, like put two dance practices and have them battle each other. Mm. Dance practices within K-pop are basically a, vi a video to illustrate the choreography for whatever track they're doing, like for the music video and stuff. So this is BTS. Um, BTS is basically the biggest K-pop group ever, no longer really considered a K-pop group. Their global phenomenons have broken every record you can ever think of for groups. Um, they're bigger than the Beatles and they're bigger than music right now. So it's pretty much like a real big deal. Uh, but we'll get a little bit more information to y'all because I don't want to kind of overwhelm y'all on the first watch. Uh, but yeah, these are two really dope songs and we can have a conversation about all of this when we are done. Let's jump into this. for y'all. That was 
clean. Temporary king. Shit. I let at the A, the A, the A, I, 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 I. <laughs> Somebody hit their head. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Jim is also barefoot, right? Hmm. Jimmy's also barefoot, right? I love it. I love it. Right. Shit, shit, I want to see this live. Like, it's like hype the shit. Seeing them live. Good. <laughs> I have not. It didn't take me. 2025. Yeah, true. Hopefully. Shit. They dropped that shit like this was drumline. I can't. <laughs> Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're going to holler at y'all. Sorry, nah. I can't. <laughs> nah, that was uh, BTS on. Uh, we'll probably just jump right into the next one that way. Did y'all have any thoughts about that before we get into anything? No, 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 no. Actually, we'll save it. Save it, save it. Save right. it. Shout out to Sienna, too. That's the young lady who literally put both of these choreos together for them. Uh, but this second one right here is called Run BTS. Let's jump into this. Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated. Hey, baby. Hey. Shit. Good. Good. Good man. <laughs> I feel like some little tub. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> 
it's so clean. The people dance practice fits me. Right. Like, like, bro, I don't say that for the club. Right. Like, oh, this is in your wardrobe? <laughs> like, okay. Nice. Go. What happens if he couldn't catch it? Good question. Oh. Should look at it on the floor. Oh, yeah. Please don't slip on that. I think Jim pick it up. Oh, good. Oh. Let's go. Look at Jim, Jim and Stephanie. Oh, okay. Hey, baby. Hand the dunk. Yeah. <laughs> so hot, big brother. Children, children. Why, why, why? <laughs> Jim was a dancer before, right? Run. Uh, <laughs> my legs hurt watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got me like, ah. <laughs> All the men. The pretty men. Ah, fun times, man. Yeah, that was. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Jump on the Patreon. New exclusive BTS stuff is up on there. Um, this is actually going to be an interesting conversation with y'all because me and me and Zach in particular probably feel like have a little bit more closer connection with both songs and both uh, like dance practices. But this is kind of like raw reactions from y'all. So there ain't really no bias with whatever y'all pick mm -hmm. because it's just straight up. My yeah, eyes told me this was hotter. <laughs> um, but yeah, which... Which I'm trying to want to know how I'm gonna word this. What choreography did you like better, the first one that y'all seen or the second one that y'all seen? You can start, Dan. You can start. All right. I'll start off. Um, you know, was the first one they were dancing off. The choreography was off the the beat of the drums, right? Mm -hmm. And then the second. It was off the guitar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, all right. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen uh, dancing, um, like, I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen dancing off the guitar or off a guitar beat or anything like that before. So um, seeing that and hearing that and, yeah, experiencing it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think I liked the second one. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the second one for that. One uh, for yeah. Run BTS. <laughs> cool. <coughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I like the second one more. I feel like everybody in the group kind of had their moment to like shine and. Fuck, you stole my ass. Did I? <laughs> 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 no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think everybody in the group kind of had their moment to shine with like themselves and the group. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the second one. Cool. We'll come back to you, Zach. You gonna <laughs> you gonna balance this out? <laughs> on. Okay. On was the first one. Yeah. I'm just make it's on. Any, <laughs> anyone in particular you want to wait to go back? I'll wait. That's two for Run BTS and one for On. On is phenomenal. Um, on is like a real big spectacle, like, you know, just kind of show off and do everything. Run is just different to me. Uh, I don't want to influence the answer. I, I'm, I don't want to influence your answer and, and really get into specifics, but Run is kind of, Run in particular, on showcases like a lot of like uh like a lot of what they can do too. There are some people within this group who don't who didn't have a background in dancing. 
Um, so there were some primary members who kind of sometimes dance a little bit more. Um, it'd almost be like if we were a basketball team and like some people came on as three-point shooters. You know, most of the time we would let them shoot the threes and then if people developed into three-point shooters over time, then we would let them shoot threes. This is a situation where everyone is developed into three-point shooters now and can all just kind of like shoot. If y'all got that analogy, I hope y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go run though. All that being said, I'm going to go run. That is three for one. Oh, no, four for run. <laughs> and one for on because I'm run. I like I like runs, um, sort of oomph more the raw, just like it's a more feral to me. Seems and like then control chaos. exactly control chaos and um, pause. It's harder. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I just like it's just so. Like I said, raw and it's that type of angry energy like I'm waiting to get out and it's I love it I love stuff that has you can feel the beat and you can feel the punch it's really punchy and everybody hit their moves it's it's just it's snap it's, it is you can that. tell they're tired <laughs> but they're still like nah we're gonna give it everything and you like uh, you said I think it was cold everybody had their moment to shine um, and you could really see the passion that they have behind it. So I love it. They, it's not a half-assed dance practice, and I don't think any K-pop group or any group does that, you know what I mean, anymore. So they, yeah, I love it. I love it. And so run for me. So four versus one. How you feel, mm. Jamie? How you feel, Jamie? Yeah, that was the first time, I guess, seeing that. So yeah, it was something. Um, I'd probably say the first one. I don't really know what I was watching, but I like the first one better. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about it? Like the drums, like the choreography of the background dances? Um, I like that. Like everyone was involved, I guess. I mean, everyone was involved in both of them, but mm -hmm. uh, I like the song better, too. Okay. So it kind of influenced me a little bit. Nice. It, it 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 happens in choreo happens. battles. Sometimes we try to be like, guys, don't listen to the song. Oh, but yeah, if the I'm song listening. and you just sitting there like, <laughs> it, like it got me, guys. It's making me move. Um, but not on definitely was a, a big step for BTS. The the reason why run hits a little bit harder for us is like right now the group is uh Army is like the fandom for BTS and some people hate using the word kind of hiatus. But in South Korea, it's mandatory. Men need to go to serve like 18 months in the military uh, before you hit like the age of 30 or 31. So uh, like, you know, anybody who does anything, they got to stop whatever they're doing and go serve. So essentially each member is kind of taking their, uh, like they're, they're serving while other members are doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, seven members, so three members are currently serving and the other four are dropping albums and like doing stuff. And then when they get back, someone else might go and you know, all this other stuff right now. Um, but right before everybody had left, they dropped like the dance performance for Run. Uh, so like they kind of weren't doing anything as far as together for a couple, like four or five months and then just dropped Run. So it felt like a big thing. It was big energy behind it. The song got a little bit more of a, a bounce to it. And like you said, it highlights everybody. Yeah. That's the better one, right? Um, <laughs> it's, I think this is going to be more of a pick your poison. I wouldn't be surprised if when I, uh, like, because every time we do choreo battles, I, I drop a poll and I let everybody kind of vote on it and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if on one, because on is just, it's a lot of moving mean, pieces. It's fluid. Mm -hmm. It's certainly fluid. The reason why I chose on is my, me, is personal experience. You played the drums or no? No, we've heard this. We saw this live. <laughs> Okay, oh, yeah, that's true too. So it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing this and hearing this live, it hits different. Right. But the other one actually, they actually did smoke the Run BTS as well. But just seeing something live, hearing it live, it hits different. It's like it stays at home sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I don't like switching up. Staying at home. <laughs> stays at home. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it is a lot of moving pieces. It's all the uh, like the drum work. It's a whole bunch of different things going on as far as like the members having to do everything. Uh, literally nobody can be off or like, you know, something kind of like goes left. Mm -hmm. um, I do think backup dancers were utilized very well in both of the choreographies that happened. People did have individual moments in uh, like on, for some reason run, the individual moments seemed like they punched a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
they felt personal mm-hmm. and not in a bad way. It just, they just felt personal. This is a part of a greater, like a, a great, a greater group, basically. You know what I mean? All the p- moving pieces, as you put it, but like run BTS and w- with them going off on their individual journeys, it felt more personal because I'd never knew that story. So mm-hmm. yeah, now I'm, it's, yeah, it's making sense to me more. And I, I actually like it more for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Would y'all download either track? Shoot. Probably run. Would I download it? Like, like have put them on your mm-hmm. pa- playlist. Are you working out in the gym to any of this? Um, I mean, this is a safe place. Yeah, most likely not. No. <laughs> I, like, I just don't know what they're saying either. That's a good question, too. Um, so with music, I feel like music is art and sometimes art can like transcend languages. And sometimes mm-hmm. I've heard music from like foreign, like foreign music. And sometimes I don't know what they saying, but in my heart, I feel like I know what's going on. That's literally mm-hmm. opera. Um, yeah. <laughs> literally um, opera. But I do get it, Jamie, where sometimes if it don't click for you, then it just, then it didn't like even click for you and mm-hmm. shit though. Uh, it might be different too because I'm watching people dance at the same time. Like if I was at the gym, I would just hear it. I wouldn't mm-hmm. have to see. Well, I wouldn't be watching anyone dancing. Yeah, you can be at the gym like run. <laughs> run, <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about you? Would you go ahead, Cole? Did you download it? Oh no, you said run, uh, yeah. Dom. Um, runs this one right? Uh, this one is the first one. one. This is on. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> no, no. No. Um, no pressure. No pressure, Dom. I actually like uh on or Yeah, on. I would download I would download on. Like if I was going to the gym or something and uh, you know, I would think like uh hearing those that uh the drum beat and everything like that, I think that would pump me up and you know mm-hmm. get me going or something and and yeah yeah i think uh listening yeah download it i'll yeah i'll download uh um on what did y'all think k-pop music was gonna sound like when y'all first uh like you first listened to it or, or do y'all or did y'all have a do i have an inkling of what k-pop would sound like um i thought it was like teen music that we have in like in the United States just from South Korea. That is funny, isn't it? You said I thought it was scene. Korean pop Hannah music. Montana, <laughs> but Korean. <laughs> so everyone's first impression. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it was kind of what I expected. I think it's a little more like I never imagined myself listening to this before watching it, but I feel like now, after watching and listening to it, I'm like, okay, I can I can get down with this. No. Uh, you know I was I'm with Jamie. At first, like I thought it was like you know like all like maybe high pitched or every, like you know like the. Like the you thought uh, girls is going you thought girls is going to be getting chased by teddy bears. Right? <laughs> yeah, nineteen eighty five anime <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, anime opening. <laughs> but yeah, like that's what I thought, and then um, and then watching the videos and seeing this stuff, uh, it just blows my mind. Like I have mad respect for these people uh, for the you know for their the art that they do the the choreography everything that they do they put together. I really have a lot of respect for it, and and now like, you know, uh, like I said, watching this stuff, um, yeah, I I really enjoy it. Yeah, I was telling Dom that um, a lot of people have a certain kind of stereotype when you hear K-pop, and don't realize that over there is different than over here, as far as like how artists are developed and what goes on. Over here, I cannot know nothing about music, make a song, it goes viral, and then kind of get signed. And then I'm kind of like, you know, a celebrity, and then I can make a bunch of bullshit songs and kind of just go about my day. Over there, all the idols go through what's called like an idol training process, which means that from anywhere from a year, some people are training for eight years, 
They teach you vocal lessons. They teach you how to rap. They teach you dancing. They teach you how to be personable. Um, just anything you could think of with music. They teach you production, songwriting skills. All these people basically within K-pop literally go to school to do music um, out, while they're still in school. So you'll have people who are, you know, in school taking college courses and doing everything else and still also train for music and everything as well. So, you know, it's real. No, it's just th that part. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's funny. So, uh, so, you know, music is a little bit different. That's why I have a little bit more respect for a lot of the stuff that goes on over there. Because uh, most people do think it's just like high pitched, like, <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> and like, shit gets really deep. When the more y'all see from everything from here, because um, Jamie, when you was like, you know, you couldn't understand what was going on, when you get an opportunity to see like the music videos and see the stories behind them, to see people rapping and singing and to actually read the lyrics and stuff. They spit in like poetry or like talking poetry stories and doing it, yeah, yeah. The, the stories and the concepts that go on over there are just kind of like really creative. decent and, di and different. And a lot of the messaging is different too. Like they have a whole album that's basically telling people like to love themselves and they go about it like in different ways and hitting you with triple or quadruple like entendres. Um, and I just, I think that's fascinating. Um, Keith always says that K-pop is music that we loved in the 90s and the early 2000s that they don't make anymore. Mm -hmm. And they still actually do music videos as opposed to not really getting that over here as much. Um, and when we go further into the rabbit hole, y'all will see that it's not even kind of just pop. Like you said, the rock stuff, they literally have like rock songs. They have ballads. They have hip hop songs. They have drill songs. Mm -hmm. They have turn up music. They have sad, depressed music. Any mood you want to get in within K-pop. Mm -hmm. You'll find it within here. The genre has a thousand subgenres now, just like kind of any growing. Hip hop is just a name. I feel like at this point. Yeah, it's also an aesthetic too. Yeah, it's like hip hop. Is. Hip hop isn't just you know like music and shit. Hip hop is food. It's clothes. Style. It's a style. It's a way of Real life. life. Yeah. Look at this K-pop aesthetic. We gotta make. Someone's gonna send us pictures of y'all's Funko Pops or Chibis. <laughs> Someone made us give like the little Chibi gifts for food and stuff like that. Wait a minute, we have. Mm -hmm. Someone made, yeah, especially the OG kids. So. Oh. Um, but yeah, anything else that y'all want to add? I, I probably spilled a lot on you. Jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel. You said he was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? No. No, no, nothing I can think of. No, I think. No, it's first time seeing it. I again, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely see myself watching more nice. and then get an understanding because, like you guys said. So you got it. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. Because <laughs> like you guys are saying with the, uh, they were dancing uh, on beat with like the drum or the guitar. I mean, I had no idea. So, I mean, I guess just once you understand that a little bit more. The Jamie, it's just funny. He's like, I just didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> see, like, I wanted to connect so much more. <laughs> it's, funny. it's funny though, for that point, it's just like, uh, we grew up, me and Nicholas, um, we grew up in a, a multicultural household. My grandmother's, our grandmother's Filipino and um, our d grandfather um, was a black man. Um, but they lived all over the world because my, our grandfather was in the Navy. So we got everything from French to, uh, um, um, to ch uh, Japanese, lived, Chinese, all Japan, that music. Wild, all those music and all those movies came over to us and we just grew up not understanding a word anybody said, but really getting into it, you know what I mean? So it's not, I think we got a cheat code a little bit because <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like we grew up with this stuff and we learned how to read subtitles. So we were speed readers, you know, and we were kids, um, still a part of that now, but it's just like, it doesn't matter to us, you know what I mean? We, um, we, there was this uh, musician, or it probably still is, a musician called Kataro, and he just played drums. And his music, I mean, it was more instruments than that, but he played the drums, and his music literally always made me cry. It, was, like, it, was, it, was, it used to be mood music. Mood music, and it's just like, it was a stuff for everything, action, adventure, whatever your imagination came up with, it was brilliant, so that I think, like I, like I said, we had a cheat code. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't care. It made know. it made foreign music easily digestible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause our our we have cousins too that are like Spanish. So we have like mm -hmm. Puerto Rican we have a Puerto Rican side of the family mm -hmm. too. So anything from like the reggaeton stuff, mm -hmm. any anything that's uh, Latino vibes and mm -hmm. stuff. I, I don't know. It's it's always been easy for me to kind of grasp foreign languages and just kind of hear it. 
dissect the beat and then just be like, oh, okay, right, it's a vibe. I'll find out what they're talking about either later. either later or like <laughs> while I'm watching and shit. But I do get how some people no. might just be like, mm, mm, nah. I need to see what's going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 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 anything else anybody want to do? You know, uh, Nick, I'm with you on that. Uh, like, uh, it doesn't matter. Like for me, it doesn't matter if I don't like understand what they're saying. If the beat's hot, then I'm all for it. Like I can, you know, I, you know, get down with it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, so that motherfucker cut a boot, cut a rug. <laughs> I thought he was about to say, "I'm gonna kill a rug in this bitch." <laughs> no, but but seriously, honestly, like I think. Uh, a few videos back, we there was a song that uh, like sticks out to me that there was um, the like I didn't girls? know the lyrics. I didn't know the lyrics, or yeah. like I, I couldn't I didn't understand the lyrics, but the the beat was amazing and yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I forget what, it happened a couple times because uh, like Dom been around now for like a, for what the last like three or four reactions and stuff. Yeah. When he first like was hearing all the beats and like seeing everything and the colors, his face was just like, "What is going? It's a whole oh new God. world. This is <laughs> it's a whole other music genre that was out here." <laughs> yep. so that's interesting. But I got some surprises for y'all today, and shit. We were to jump into a couple other different things and stuff. But I figured BTS was definitely a good uh -huh. intro to kind of start everything, just because uh, they opened the door for kind of so many other things like K-pop related. They're the reason why people can buy like certain CDs, like CDs now within here. They're the reason why people can tour and kind of do things in here. Pretty much trailblazers, um, you know, of their generation for K-pop. For the American market, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is, you know, this would be some other groups that was like, oh, yeah. we open some doors too. Oh, but obviously. Music but is always progressively moving forward, and when you're a pioneer within a gen within a genre or a generation, yeah, or a generation, um, it means something, and mm -hmm. they mean something. Um, so jump in the comments, tell us how y'all felt about this. Um, if y'all haven't welcomed Dom to the channel, welcome him, welcome Jamie, and welcome Cole to the channel. Welcome! You're gonna be seeing your faces on in. here. Um, ladies, tell us if you want me to bring them back for more BTS reactions. Not ladies. <laughs> and, and gentlemen. And gentlemen. We don't know. And gentlemen. <laughs> we don't discriminate here. We love everybody. If you have headphones on, I'm so sorry. I know. Yeah, shit was so like, sorry. Ah! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Redeemers, please give them a nice, lovely, and warm welcome. <laughs> Jump on the Patreon. More content coming soon. We love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace, Peace and hair grease. Peace, love, and chicken grease, Nicholas. Okay. How many times I tell you? <laughs>